Of all the problematic issues New York Mayor Adams has had to deal with over the past nearly two years, will the issue that emerged yesterday become the most problematic? The home of his 25-year-old chief fundraiser, raided by the FBI, which it turns out is investigating whether a foreign country illegally donated to the mayor's campaign. And if true, what did they hope to get? I would assume reporter N.J. Birkin with a deep dive into all this. It's live in Lower Manhattan for us. Newton. Yeah, all good questions, Bill, but to be clear, uh, Mayor Adams says he has not been questioned, and there is no indication so far that he is a target in this investigation. In a statement released today, he says he is outraged and angry if, quote, anyone tried to defraud the campaign. There was no answer at the apartment of the mayor's chief fundraiser this afternoon, but Brianna Suggs has been subpoenaed to testify before a federal grand jury. I am you. The questions date back to the mayoral election of 2021. Eyewitness News has learned that the U.S. Justice Department is investigating whether Mayor Adams received illegal campaign contributions from citizens and government officials in Turkey. The mayor has made no secret of his affinity for the country. He honored Turkey at one of his many international flag-raising ceremonies just last week. I'm probably the only mayor in the history of this city uh, that has, has not only visited uh, Turkey, Turkey once, but I think I'm on my sixth or seventh visit. It's illegal for foreign nationals and their governments to donate to American political campaigns. Sources say the investigation is focused on a construction firm in Williamsburg and whether the company and its employees funneled thousands of dollars in Turkish money to the campaign. I have no knowledge, direct or otherwise, Adams said today, of any improper fundraising activity, and certainly not of any foreign money. Last night, he said the investigation came as a shock. We carry a very strict review to do the best we can to make sure that we are having uh, those dollars that are coming in that, are, that are, are appropriate. We turned down a lot of money. We send it back. We don't believe it's correct. It's entirely plausible if this happened, that it happened on behalf of the mayor, but without the mayor's knowledge. Does he know what people are doing all the time with the money? That's why you hire competent people to police it and to make sure it gets collected. Political consultant Hank Sheinkoff. It used to be that candidates running for higher office would be intimately involved in collecting money for campaigns, but they've changed that. Why? You know, if you don't know, you're better off. Well, Sheinkoff says this is likely to be a political problem for Eric Adams rather than a personal one. His critics, his opponents on the left are already lining up tonight.